closer to Halloween and it's time to start thinking about costumes for the kids. But dressing them up is actually simpler than you think. It doesn't have to cost a fortune either. With just an accessory or two and the right eye makeup, you can transform these little ones into anything they want to be. We brought today a makeup artist from Metro West Face Painting. Kat, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. We're also joined by Doris from Eye Party. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the makeup that you guys are going to have sure. for us? Sure. The makeup we're using is Snazzaroo Room Makeup. It's terrific makeup. Parents love it because it goes on easily, very, very simple. It's hypoallergenic, comes off easily as well with just soap and water, and it feels pretty good while it's on, doesn't it, kids? <laughs> <laughs> now, Kat, that's pretty important because if they get it all over the clothes, it doesn't really matter, right? So no, it, it, come doesn't, off pretty it, doesn't easy. it doesn't hurt the clothes. Now, uh, the kids here have some pretty simple costumes, but then you've added in some accessories and some face painting, and it really, really... Takes mm -hmm. off with the, with the costume. Some parents don't like to use masks, and so this is a different way to spruce up a costume. Beautiful. We're going to start with Ty down at the end, who's a uh, looks like a skeleton over there. He's yep, little a skull. S skull. How do how do we do his makeup? It's really easy. You just add white to the face, and then you do outlining in black, and it's pretty easy. Now, one of my uh, favorite costumes when I was a little guy was uh, the one Jack's wearing over there, a little vampire. What do we got for Jack? You, same thing. You start off in black. You add some fangs. You do. Um, the eyebrows. It's just a really easy way to spruce it up. Now, K Casey's a, a female pirate. Casey, yes. can you give a big smile for us? <laughs> now, this one seems like uh, you can kind of go kind of crazy with a little glitter in there, a couple different colors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I did use a bigger kit on hers because the other two are used on a three kit, but um, hers, is, hers is great. It little pops with the, uh, with the pink lipstick as well. Yes, it does. Now, we're going to finish up here with Julia, who is a little butterfly. Are you going to actually show us a couple yes. of makeup tips? Yes. Um, with hers, um, we sponge on the color, and I, I did half of it. And you just sponge on the pink and the white. So just add a little water to the makeup so yep. it kind of sticks and a little it, that's all it does. It just needs a little bit of water. The good thing is with the kids at this age, too, you can kind of have a little fun with uh, kind of getting a little more creative with doing your own face makeup, right? Yes, you can. That's, that is a benefit. And uh, the, the makeup can actually be found right at Eye Party, right? It pretty can be pretty found accessible. At eye party. You guys going to be selling out of that pretty soon during the holiday season? <laughs> we have it till the very end, and we sell it year round. But for instance, this little uh, skull kit is just three pots of makeup, and it makes 10 to 15 faces. You can do everybody and in the entire neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful. And those first two faces were made with this, so I, I think these are great. Well, let's get one more look at the kids. I'll send it back to you guys, but you can get all the information on some great makeup ideas right over at foxprovidence.com. You guys going to want to wave goodbye? Spooky wave. There you go. <laughs> back to you. <laughs>